We haven't spent quality time together for a long time. It feels, doesn't it? It does feel like a while. Even when we watch kind of TV Wait, in the evenings. Did you Audi? Fucking hell. Audi managed that. Always kicking off, driving along. Love it, I should film all the time. But yeah, even when we watch sort of TV at night, I'm kind of watching like crap on YouTube, not on TV, MMA fights and all that. And Grace is watching her sort of reality stuff and that. So she's in the bedroom, I'm down on the sofa. But it's only because we'll, like, I'm up at four o'clock in the morning. So exactly as well, early. same as that. But we, we do try and sort of uh, stick to sort of Netflix series, ones we like, and we kind of stick to sort of days when we actually watch them together. Yeah. We stay loyal to that. She has sort of uh, jumped the gun on series before. I get home and she's watched like four more series. I'm like, this is this is not how it works. Any of you go through that sort of issues? You know, you're watching it. You're well into the whole series. Yeah, like, yes, this has come along nicely. Grace is like, I'm four on top of you. What? <laughs> cheating. It's like cheating. Safely think. pass him. Go on, pass him now. Go on. See what you saw look me get. <laughs> <laughs> Slow mo bro. But yeah, we are on a little outing. We're just gonna walk up some hills and stuff and I might trip her over and just do still the romantic stuff. Yeah. We're trying to do a no swearing policy on this channel. I'm trying to. Every time I swear I try and sort of bleep out a little bit. I've had a few sort of uh remarks from people. I suddenly forget, I forget there are a lot of young people that kind of watch this. My son is 10 years old and he watches your channel. I'm like, 10 years old! A little bit dodgy, 10 year old, watching me sort of talk about tatters and stuff. No, talk about fucking shotties. That's all you fucking talk about. Yeah, but about. the thing is, I've said it before. They're going to either learn it from someone else or learn it from me. Learn it from someone else. No, learn it from me. No. Learn it from the best. Don't do shotties, kids. They, um, they're not good for your lungs. Uh, do cannies instead. Harsh. <laughs> And the little compilation I put in the last video, some people were a little bit upset about the snowman clip. Oh, look how fluffy you are. <laughs> Hello, Fred. Yeah. But let's be honest, the snowman, the film growing up, it was a little bit emotional, wasn't it? Never watched it. Never watched <laughs> Well, that's why you missed out. That's why I'm so deformed. You know, it come up to Christmas, I was really looking forward to Christmas, like, yeah, come on, it's gonna be a great time and that. Watch a snowman, depressed. Eight years old, fucked in the head. I have to bleep that out. <laughs> I like the song and that. When the song kicked in, I'm walking in the earth. What do you do then? We're walking in the earth. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that song gets me every time. It kind of like makes my little bottom lip lip go, you know, your bottom lip. Oh, Jack. You're like, he's walking in the air. Oh, fuck, here we go. You know what's going to happen. Oh. Always kind of wish that the snowman survived, but. What happens to the snowman? Blew Does up. he melt? Melts and blows up, doesn't he? And remember, Halloween's coming up, and this year me and Grace are actually dressing up for Halloween. We have a party to go to. Uh, I have got my outfit. Grace has got yours on order. Yeah, don't, um, I'm not saying anything no. yet. I'm not saying anything yet, but I have got mine. And uh, yeah. So yeah, we're on our way up uh, a hill. Spiritual cleanse. Soul cleanse. You wait till you see some of the people we meet at the top. Hopefully, we get to sort of get some wisdom out of them. Give me your hand, it's a little bit, you won't want to come up here in the uh, swamps. Give me your hand, child. You right? Do I just elbow you in the face? There he is, look, he's moving now. Look at the size of his bollocks. Fuck off, Grace. Holy smoly. Can you see those bad boys? Hi, son. That's where we're going. Tour. Beautiful up there. He's, what's wrong with this matey? They, they don't look right. They don't look right. I always thought I had bad bollocks, but that's um. What's 
<laughs> What's wrong? Love a bit of nature and all that. But yeah, that's our destination tour. That's where we're gonna get our sort of, uh, our wisdom and spiritualness. There is gonna be some weird characters about. I've always wanted to ride down this stuff. One day, I think deep in winter, it'd be funnier. Come down some of these hills. A lot of sheep shit around. We've never done this before. Right, well, Grace is on her way already. So there is a designated path that goes around there and up, proper steps, but we're going straight up. We are going straight up. If the sheep can do it, we can do it. Don't let them beat you. Normally during winter, you can't do this. It's boggy and slippery and sketchy, but- uh, The sheep keep looking at me. Look at them. Yeah, they are, aren't they? They know something. They're just gonna watch us fall down. How can they got a GoPro attached to them? Yeah, that idea didn't really work. Gets a little bushy up there and that. Get a lot of dodgy looks from the uh, spiritual people up there. Stop the hill from eroding, see? Yeah, I did geography in school. Problem is, if you keep walking up a different path, it erodes the hill. See? Oh, fucking everywhere, mate. Um, Plenty woody jumpers here. I love a natural trail. I mean, if I were to ride down this, I'd have to do it real early in the morning. So there's no sort of traffic. Last thing you want to sort of bang into people. Because you know what I'm like, I'll take out sort of every pedestrian going. Grace, I found steps. Bugs. Yeah. No, have you seen them all on the wall? They're ladybugs. Oh, they are ladybugs, like look. different colour ones as well. That's because of spiritual yeah. presence. I yeah. like all the dead ones. Everyone's walking on them. What the hell? What's that, the playground? There is ladybirds everywhere. This whole place is played with them. What the hell? Energy everywhere. That's so weird. I've never seen them before in the car. Nah. That's a spiritual presence, you see? Look at it. Hello! Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That is so weird. I wonder what, what was when we... Look, they're yeah. all over you. <laughs> what? I've never, I haven't seen any ladybirds in ages. No. They're all up here, that's why. So yeah, I'm literally covered in ladybirds. The actual monument is absolutely covered in them. It is the strangest thing I've ever seen. That's what I was talking about, the spiritual presence. Every time you come here, there's little, there's weird characters and stuff. And uh, yeah, ladybirds. Anyone know anything about that? What sort of sign is that? Google it. What's the reason behind it? This is a heat wave bringing ladybird plane. Oh. In 1976, it's the heat wave. Yeah. It's not really a heat wave, is it? Well, it is for this sort of time of the year. It's, it's calm. I mean, there's no wind. This place is incredible. 360 degree view. Symbol of protection. Symbol of protection, see? Next time I go riding, I'm protected now. So 
so yeah, a little mission up the tour and uh, the spiritual presence was in full effect. Sign of protection. Yeah, there wasn't as many uh, weirdos up there as I was hoped. Normally you get them, they're all sort of praying and stuff, they're doing all this weird stuff. You get involved in that and they sort of heal you. So I need healing. Grace, do you need healing? No. Like a spiritual healing? I feel like I do sometimes. My brain's like, Ugh. But yeah, I've got protection now. The ladybirds. Ladybirds. Still got a couple on me. Definitely got some in my pants. You got one on your back. Got one on my back, see? Oh, that's mean. It's protecting my back and protect my neck. <laughs> Wu Tang fuckers, that's what's up. Stop swearing. <laughs> How was it so friendly around here? Come to you. See, that's what you'll find with this channel. We've got sort of historic monuments, historic events. Great views. Great views and so stuff. Low. See? Relationship, ad relationship advice, a lot of romance and that, and yeah, so that's about it. Ah! What the fuck was that? He's throwing a stone at me. Positive thinking. Quite like on a spinal cord. But it didn't hurt because um, I'm healed. So for the first time, Grace has never actually been in Glassbury Town Centre, so uh, she's going to take a little drive through and uh, see what characters we can see. I love it. She's looking at people with flowers in their hair. That is nothing. You wait till you see the actual proper characters. Oh, we're supposed to go left. Sorry, I sit down there. Oh, shit. All it is is like vintage shops, coffee shops, secondhand shops. Two yeah, look. Oh, look. Oh, shit. Lovely clothes over there. Oh, you've ruined that, look. Doggies. Hello. <laughs> coffee shops. Oh, Sam, Sam, Sam. What the hell? Where do I go? Straight up? Yeah. Wasn't well, as uh, crazy as normal. I think on the weekend would be better. You normally go for on a Saturday, you'd have sort of uh, someone dressed as Batman. Yeah, but just the shops. And Robin and stuff. Yeah, all the shops are literally like coffee shops, secondhand shops, vintage shops, and uh, sort of like healing stuff. Where do I go now? Perfect for you. Right. Go right, you look. Go green van, look. He knows what's up. Nice. Like a boss. Oh, yes, I keep the bank rolling. Like a boss. Sipping lean, big paper hold. Like a boss. You know we got it like that. Two trailer park girls go round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Two trailer park girls go round the outside, round the outside. There is the saddest one they got. There's the eyes I don't like. There's no eyes on it. Didn't even look at me. <laughs> I can scare the shit out of a poor cat. So yeah, I got this mask in home bargains for three pound ninety nine. Absolute bargain. Uh, my nan didn't like it too much. I was gonna go in and scare her a little bit, but uh, yeah, I thought that'd be a little bit evil. Don't want to give her a heart attack or anything. So I've come home. Cat's just uh. The cat's just eating some biscuits. <sighs> she don't give a shit. Cat don't care. Sweaty mess, but the idea is with this mask, Grace is going to modify it to look even scarier. That's our plan, Grace. So apparently I've got to do a video for her about some nose hair removal stuff. Not looking forward to that. That'll be on her channel. And yeah, she's going to sort of modify this to make it look a lot better. So it's cost me £3.99. 
and I'm gonna wear it and she's gonna do a makeover on it. That is coming in another video. So uh, that is a little day out, me and Grace. Went up the tour, had some fun, had a cup of tea on the way back. It's whiskey time now. And yeah, I'll go riding tomorrow. It's gonna piss down all day. Grace is just, I don't even, excuse the washing up. Gotta do that properly in a minute. Disgusting. Why are you such a dickhead? Huh? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching and bye for now. So I'll leave you on a note. Khabib or McGregor? Who's gonna win? Who is gonna win? I'll knock them both out, mate. If you allowed, if you allowed headbutts in a UFC, I'll be champion. Wearing this, I would wear this.